What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So look what I have here. I got a whole bunch of stuff that's going on. I've made a Dex video uh, with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, uh, and I used the Dex against a uh, with a high-end PC. And a lot of you guys was asking a bunch of questions. So in this video, I am going to try to answer most of you guys' questions that y'all had in my last Dex video. Now, I have a Chromebook here. A lot of people ask the question, should you use a Chromebook or just use a Dex in a monitor or maybe a, uh, an older PC or a powerful PC or just get an Android tablet or just get the, the Dex in a monitor and go about your way. Now, I found a old PC that's running the Atom processor, Windows 7 with two gigs of RAM and I connected Dex to it. And I'm gonna give you guys my experience and my thoughts about using a low-end computer with Dex. Also, I'm gonna answer some questions about using a high-end PC with Dex. And I'm also gonna answer some questions about uh, using a Chromebook instead of using Dex. Wow, we got a lot to talk about. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So we got a lot of things to talk about uh, in this video. So let's get right into it. This right here is a low budget Acer PC that I found in my arsenal. This thing is has an Atom processor with two gigs of RAM with Windows 7 starter kit. I mean, it's laggy, it's slow, it takes a long time for, for our applications to open. I mean, this is probably one of my slowest PCs, period. Now, to my understanding, before I tried this out, the Galaxy Note 10 has this new feature that when you plug it up to a PC, uh, it will render Dex software on your PC and you can finish what you're doing from your device to a virtual machine that's on your PC. Now, I tried this out and I'm gonna show y'all guys in a minute that uh, you do need a powerful PC or you do need a, a well spec PC for this to work. Because in my last video, a lot of you guys were saying you, you noticed a lot of lagginess on the PC that you're using and it didn't, uh, it wasn't like that on my PC. Now. Mind you that my full-fledged PC that's in the back back there, I'm running a high-end i7 processor, 32 gigs of RAM. I got a GTX 1080 uh, GPU in the thing, uh, terabyte uh, SSD in it. So it's a very powerful PC. So I didn't witness any lagginess plugging my Galaxy Note to my main PC. But uh, when I plugged it up to this PC right here, and I'm gonna show you guys, it's, you have to have a well spec uh, computer for this to run. Now, let's go on and get one question out the way. The elephant in the room, why would you use your Galaxy Note 10 and plug it up to a PC? I'm gonna answer that question like this. If you are doing a document here on your on your device, or you're doing uh, some type of word processing, or you're drawing or something like that, or uh, if you're doing some type of work on your uh, device, soon as you plug it plug it up here to uh, your PC, you get to get all that that stuff that you've been working with on your uh, device straight from uh, the device to the PC. Now another thing that uh, the benefit of using DEX on the PC is that if you're not in a Wi-Fi scenario, that means that your PC cannot go online. Now using your Galaxy Note 10, you can use your full 4G LTE when you plug it up to your PC. That means you can get high-end data speeds. Another question you guys asked was, why, won't you, why don't you just use your hotspot from your phone to the laptop? Well, again, uh, Wi-Fi and hotspots is restricted to a uh, certain level of speed. So you cannot get high-end 4G LTE speeds uh, from hotspots. And some people doesn't have hotspots on a plan. Or if you have, if you do have hotspot on your plan, it's very limited. Now they do have unlimited hotspots, which is fine. But uh, using hotspot on your phone sometimes is a no go. It's too slow. And I find myself using Dex 
connected to a laptop, I'm getting high-end speed. So speed is very important. So I want to answer that question. That I, and listen, I'm answering a lot of questions uh, in this video that you guys may ask. All right. So let's go ahead and plug up this low-end PC, and I'm going to show you guys that, yes, you do need a well spec PC for DeX to run. So as I plug it up, and I got it plugged up here on uh, my laptop, the first thing should happen is the DeX software is supposed to pop up in a virtual machine. Now, again, if you have a, uh, a work laptop or something like that, that you cannot change a lot of different things, this the DeX is going to give you a second environment that you can get work done. Now, uh, and again, this is one of the reasons why I, I want to talk to you guys about this because the lagginess is real, especially if you have a low-end PC. Now, uh, it, it's going to take a minute for DEX to roll on the low-end PC. So for everybody that has, you know, a low-end uh, i3 or, or a, you know, Atom processors or something that, don't, that does not have dedicated GPU, if you have integrated GPUs on your computer, you will witness lag. Now, again, people was asking me the question in my last video of why my PC was running fast. And a lot of people are saying that their PCs was not running fast. It's because it's using the computer's resources as a, a secondary uh, workspace to run DEX. And as you can see, it's not going as fast as it was on my other PC. So what I'm going to do is I, I am not going to wait. I'm going to fast forward the video so we can get into the DEX environment. All right, guys, so finally, I got the DEX environment uh, on my laptop here. And listen, man, I cut the camera off and I can tell you it took me at least 20 to 25 minutes for me to get this DEX environment up and running. Now, I want to show you guys that I, this is the DEX environment right here at the bottom. It says DEX. Uh, but I want to show you guys that I am running the DEX environment, but, and I'm going to tell you that it is completely lagged out. Uh, it's very laggy uh, because of the, the resources uh, from the PC itself is that it's, it's definitely a no-go if you have a um, a, a, a low-end PC running DEX. And as you can see, I just kind of minimized it so y'all guys can see that it's running in a virtual machine inside of the PC. Now, I thought at first that all the resources is running from the phone, but unfortunately that's not the case. Uh, it's running uh, using the resources from the PC. I'm going to move on to the next question that you guys have. Let's go. Okay, so another question you guys may have asked, and I'm about to plug up next to my main PC uh, and uh, answer you guys questions on this one all right so another question you guys may have is should you use a chromebook instead of using dex right so as you can see i got dex coming up and it's it's working a whole lot faster so the dex environment is running on my pc is ready to go now again the question may ask would you use a chromebook now chromebooks is running chrome os right it's android you got the a android app store right so you got the android app store so you're good to go as you can see the android app store and if you want to download apps just like an android phone you have that option you got the android app store and you can use it you can run um you know word powerpoint excel spreadsheets everything in between anything that's dealing with the app you can use it on the chromebook now, the difference between a Chromebook and a full-fledged PC is that you cannot run EXE programs. Uh, so if you want to run some type of EXE program that's not app-based, that's in the App Store, it will not run on this machine. Now, you can run stuff like Splashtop, and you can have access to your home environment PC, or you have a server online that you can access and run EXE programs. You can do that on a Chromebook. So that is a Chromebook, but would you use DeX? Let's say you had a PC that has pretty decent specs. Again, it goes back to if you had a work PC, a different environment uh, that you need to run DeX on a PC. So uh, here I got DeX running and uh, yeah, so I, if, if I want to uh, play some games or if I wanted to get some work done, yes, I could do that here in the DEX environment and it works very well. Now, again, I have a high-end PC here. 
Now I have a high-end PC and I had to figure that out uh, the hard way when your guys was asking me questions about decks. So uh, at this point, yes, you can run uh, high-end PC games uh, using decks uh, if you have it on your phone. Now let's go ahead and do this here and I want to go ahead on and blow that up. Let's see, boom. Yes, restart. And uh, if what that does is it forces the app to uh, relaunch. So if I want to play games with no lag, I can play it here. Anything that's on my phone, the quality is great and it's using my, my uh, resources on my PC. Okay, so the last question you guys asked me is should you get an Android tablet or get an iPad? Now, I got both of them here. And uh, again, this is probably not pertaining to a phone, but again, I would probably take a Dex over uh, a lot of the stuff that I work with. But, uh, you know, look, here's the thing with Android tablets. And I, I, I use Android tablets a lot uh, because it, it it's very functional. It works great. I can get a lot of work done on the an Android tablet. But when it comes down to the iPad, listen, man, when it comes down to the iPad, no matter what, man, the iPad is more polished. It get work done a lot faster. It has a lot of peripherals, keyboards, and stuff like that that make it look very PC-like, right? And don't get me wrong, they have that for Android too, but I find that the accessories uh, is a lot better for iPads versus Android, in my opinion. Uh, the Bluetooth keyboards is working great, especially when now with iOS 13, you got mouse support, which it brings the, the iPad up to a different level. So in my personal choice, definitely be iPad Pro, uh, which I have an older iPad Pro, uh, and I do have a newer iPad Pro, but this one here is so nice and lightweight and, and it's so compact that I like it. Uh, but coming back to Dex, I would tell you that I would use Dex a lot, especially with a uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, plugging it up to uh, a monitor or TV and running it the way I need to run it. And it works great with no problem. But um, in this video, I just wanted to kind of answer a lot of you guys' questions about Chromebooks, about uh, laptops and iPads and Android tablets and stuff like that. But I mean, my first choice will probably be a PC, but if I'm not doing EXE programs, I pull out my iPad to get a lot of work done, or I pull out my decks and plug it up uh, to my laptop. If I'm working a, a large document on my phone, I can plug it up to my laptop and continue to work in a different environment. That's the key. The key to Dex on a PC is a virtual environment that's, that does not interfere with your PC environment. That's the key to Dex on a PC. A lot of people might think that it's a waste. I don't think so. If you have a work PC, you can run Dex on a different environment that does not uh, deal with any security issues on your PC and you could get a lot of personal work done in the Dex environment on your work laptop. That's the key to success with this. This is don't have anything to do with it's a waste of, it's a waste of time. Why would you do that stuff like that? A lot of critics always want to beat down technology when it's here right here in your face. Think about it. you paying over one thousand dollars for this. Do you rather have the technology or don't have the technology? And it's here in your fingertips with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy Note 10 Plus in all its glory. See you guys on the next video, peace. And no, you cannot run the Dex environment on Chromebooks. No, you cannot run the Dex environment on a Android tablet or a uh, Apple iPad. <laughs> I just want to answer all the questions. I, I just want to answer all the questions. Later.